Okay, so we're going to start uh, the end of trimester two review by working on the first problem, which is using order of operations to simplify. All right, so the hint is circle terms, and I do want you to practice that. So what we've been practicing lately is using the highlighter to highlight some of, or any addition or subtraction sign that is not protected by parentheses. So I am going to start with this one, and I'm going to look where are there addition and subtraction signs that are not in parentheses. So first of all, this one right here is not inside parentheses, um, and neither is this one. The only other sign we have is division, which is just fine. So then we go ahead and circle what's left. So we have 28 divided by 4 is one term, 3 is on its own, and then the 4 times 4 over here. Now I can go ahead and I can simplify what is inside of my circles. So I have 28 divided by 4, which is 7. Um, my 3 isn't going to change. And then I have 4 times 4, which is 16. And then I'm going to just bring down the signs that were there before. So the subtraction goes there and addition is there. And now when I'm left with addition and subtraction, I need to take that from left to right. So I'm starting here, 7 minus 3 is 4, and then I have 4 plus 16, which is 20. So my final answer is 20. I'm going to go through the same process over here. This one has a few more. Um, again, highlighting any addition and subtraction signs that are not protected by parentheses. So we have this one here. Um, I cannot do that one because that one's inside a parenthesis, so I'm going to get rid of that. This one is not inside parentheses, and this one is inside parentheses, so I can't count that one. So I'll erase those. So now I circle everything besides those. So I have this is one term, here's another, and another. All right. So now I'm going to start to simplify what's inside my term. So looking at this first term, I have 8 multiplied by 9 divided by 3. And since 9 divided by 3 is in parentheses, I need to do that first. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. And this becomes 8 times 3, which is 24. All right, now I'm going to do the next term. Um, 5 times 6 plus 1 plus 6. I need to, again, do what's in parentheses first, so this becomes 1 plus 6, which is 7, so 5 times 7, which is 35. And then my last term, I have 15 minus 9, which is 6, so this becomes 2 times 6, which is 12. Again, I'm going to just copy down the symbols that are between and we're going to go from left to right. So 24 plus 35, well 5 plus 4 is 9, 2 plus 3 is 5, so 59. And then 59 minus 12 is 7, and 4. Oops, that doesn't look like 4. There we go. And there is my final answer. So make sure you are circling your terms, you're using those strategies that we have been 